Ha ha ha! Hey everybody, what is up? It is Dada Alaroy. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we kind of got our bearing on the world of Banjo-Kazooie, Spiral Mountain, Gruntilda's Lair. I don't really know if they have like a country that's something to figure out. But in this episode, we're gonna probably, yeah, probably finish Mumbles Mountain. It's not that long of a world. Um, we're obviously gonna 100% it, uh, which means we're going to get everything. So you see two collectibles already that I can get now. Um, this right here is a Jinjel. Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. We also just got a Mumbo token there. It didn't get to talk to us because I accidentally picked it up. But, um, Mumbo tokens are a currency with, um, the Witch Doctor Mumbo. I'm a note one of each hundred in the world. Collect us all the open note doors. Things a bit sleepy, huh? Slippy, slippery, huh? Find me and I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna wanna talk to him and learn how to get up steep slopes. So I think we're gonna start by going over here and learning how to get up steep slopes. <laughs> so we're not super fast yet. But if we go over here, the talent trout will win, because then we tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z and then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice. So yeah, as long as we do this, oh, we got Kazooie. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. And that's our first jigsaw piece here. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Am I not always talking to voices? Because I'm running out of breath. Surprisingly. So we got some eggs back here. Where the eggs do, we can learn how to use us as ammo. So we're going to be shooting eggs at people, which is fun. So the, this is weird, playing on this control stick. But yeah, as you can see, we'll move much faster doing this. We can do b-hops. Look at my sick b-hop skills. But uh, we're going to want to smash all of these. Smash that like button. And the first one is... Oh, we don't have the ability for it. I forgot we need to get that. Actually, I don't want to be over here yet. What am I doing? Oh, duh. Sorry. I, I mixed up my controls for a second. But um, let's get all the notes on, on these this place right here. Uh, we'll get that. I want to just... If we grab jigsaw pieces... When we're falling, I thought we didn't get it. I must have... Yeah, there's, there's a jigsaw piece that if you fall into it, it doesn't pick it up. That's weird. So we're already a third of, pretty much third of the way done with the notes here. Whoa! I almost overshot that one. Yeah, we got all the notes on this ramp now. Alright. So, um... This game is really unforgiving. I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. But, um, there's some things that you have to do the first time you see it, or else you can't do it later. So, look at my speedrun strats. And this guy is invincible right now. We can't kill him. The only thing we can do is not die. So, if we go over here, we got... This Kongas tree. Me hit bear with whatever. And I hit him on accident. Hey, that's Kongas orange. Yum! Oranges are nice! Grr, clever bear, fine conga's gold. Alright, let's get out of here. What we're gonna wanna do is go over here and give this orange to that monkey. Oh, Chimpy, like conga's orange. Chimpy helped that bear and bird. And just by walking off of that, he was apparently the fat one because that was being pressured down by him and we could not get up there. So that's our fourth jiggy here. And that glitch did not, or that, that trick did not work. Uh, you can like do slide hops, so if I do that, there we go, I did it. Alright, so we're gonna get some eggs here, and with such an abundance of eggs, I think you know what he's gonna teach us here. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. Jeez, my voice. I don't listen to beetle breath! Hopefully, then press the C button, the, the top C button to shoot eggs out of your mouth. 
Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Baron Bird should carry one hundred nades in the backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you learn how to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. So he gives us 50 eggs, which means we total up to, what, 66? 63. And every time we meet bottles, he will fill up our, um, health. There's another mumbo token. Ah! Me mumbo's token used for mumbo's magic. And we're gonna wanna... Oh, we can't do that yet. We'll have to come back. Anyways, let's get out of here. Oh, shoot, I forgot. I just realized you don't actually have to do that. I didn't know you could. So I'm gonna shoot him and then back off so we don't get another orange. I wish I could aim. Watch me. Oh. Just keep pelting eggs at this thing. Not dying. Me safe here. Baron Bird can't hit Konga. Um, obviously I'm hitting you. There we go. Ow. Oh no! I thought I could dodge that. Sorry, I was kind of focused there. I didn't want to miss. Alright, let's get back up here. Wee! Clips. Oh, nailed it! Ha! Ah. Erg, bear v Congo, me get price to bear. And we get a jiggy for that. So I'm actually gonna leave that jiggy there so I don't forget the ground tea switch because I forget things a lot. I have short term memory. I don't actually, but I will forget it. Okay, so we're gonna get these notes. Okay. Notes, n notes, notes. Yippee! You've collected enough notes to break this first note door spell. Well, dandy. Alright, so you got all those. Now we're gonna wanna climb up this. Dun dun! I love this music. Using this game is great. Oh, another question I have is do you want me to keep these videos vanilla or do you want me to edit them? Because I could edit them to a certain degree. We should have talked to him and got the thing while we were here last time. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air and then press the needle eccentrically, slamming hard down to the floor. Oop. I don't like the sound of that banjo! Getting used to it, nest girl. You'll be using it a lot. We will be using it a lot. Energy a little low. He'll fill it up for us. That's good. And we learned everything we need to know here. So without further ado... <laughs> what? We kind of just like went through him. And then went through him again by not killing him. Physics? I love it. Alright, so let's um, get all this. Oops. Just jumped in the side of it. That's cool too. Boom! Got it. Alright. We need these eggs. Eggs are important. When you run out of eggs, it sucks because then you have to go find eggs. And... Oh, there's an enemy in this one. I murdered him. Not murder if they like it. And we get the green Jinjo. Which leaves two Jinjos left. Duh. -huh. And in the last one, we're going to get a Jiggy, of course. Uh -huh. Alright. Now let's uh, get this Jiggy. There's a Jiggy in here. But instead of throwing out this last one, we're gonna jump on top of it and try and get ourselves in the middle, kind of. Alright, good enough. And we're gonna jump and we're gonna get the last honeycomb in this world. And then we knock this out of the way. And we get the last jigsaw piece. Gah! Alright. So we got a few more jiggies to get. Um. Um, my C stick is now my right my right stick. I'm playing with an Xbox controller, so it's kind of finicky at times. We got some notes down here. 
We also got this last Jinjo. Not the last Jinjo. But, um, we're gonna want to get some water down here. This brings us to 80 notes. We only need 20 more. Exciting. But get used to swimming because there's water level. There's actually two water levels, but one of them's not, like, m one of them's mostly not water. The other one's pretty much just all water. Alright, so let's get out of here. Oh, that's me pooping out eggs. Alright, 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 all right, I missed that one. Alright, I understand. I understand, game. Alright, we only need ten more, and I know where all ten of those are. So let's go get this last, um... Go away, I leave my honeycombs alone. Oh, I thought that was the bull speaking for some reason. But now we got this, Jiggy. I think that leaves me three more. We can't know how to get all those. Alright. <laughs> so sensitive. Alright. So now that we're here, this is a grunty switch. Uh, there's one in each level. Once you pound it, it's going to unlock a jigsaw in Grunty's lair. Grunty's lair also has 10 jigsaws. This is the best part of the music. I think there's a sousaphone that's going doo 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 doo. Alright, so let's go get the last Jinjo. Alright, so that leaves us with one, two more jiggies. Whoops, didn't mean to put that out. Alright. So now we're gonna wanna go into Mumbo's place. Before we do that, we got two jiggies by Mumbo's place. Well, one pertains to Mumbo's place, and the other one is in Mumbo's place. As you can see, there's a jiggy right there. So let's, uh, let's get this one. This is the one I always forget about. I usually don't get it until I go into Mumbo's lair, though. Because I always forget about it. And we are in. As you can see, there's notes around him. One, two, three, four. It says we need five Mumbo tokens, but we only have three. Remember, bus shaman in game. Can't help Banjo and fr friend. Watch it, Hup Boy. Mumbo's magic token hit. Which. Alright, so. So the witch hid the tokens, so we have to go find his tokens. Um, we have three of them. I know where another one is. And the other one... I'm trying to remember. I think I know where it is. Mambo tokens are the only thing we're not going to collect all of. Because there's a lot more of them than you need. But there is one in here. I'm going to jump up here. And you can't actually do this without doing... Uh, without using Mambo. Mumbo will transform you into an animal, and the animal that he will transform you into this time isn't really an animal. Um, it's not even in the kingdom of Animalia. But I believe the Mumbo token we are looking for is... behind one of these. There it is. Alright, so, um, I'll meet you back at Mumbo's. Let's go to Mumbo's. mumbo to mumbo to mumbo 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 Mumbos! This is tedious. Oh, can't walk in the door. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk inside. And we're going to... Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on Skull and press B to see my mighty magic. So when you stand on there, hit B. And he's a nooga da booga da booga da booga da And we are now a termite. Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when ready. Term might bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice. So yeah, ironically, Mumbo has no clue what he's gonna turn us into. But he always turns us into the the thing that we need to get the jigsaw pieces. So in case you couldn't tell, the last jigsaw piece is going to be in here. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. Yeah. So as you can see now, we can just kind of crawl across this with ease. And there should be six notes right here. And now we are at a hundred notes. You found all one hundred. Damn. Well done. Excuse me for my language. I got kind of upset there. I missed that. 
All right. So now, without further ado, let's finish up this world by just finishing going up the mountain. Now, there's a pretty risky thing right here. It's not that risky if you know what you're doing. I think uh, the developers just kind of like, hey, my name's Rare, and let's do this. And as you can see, I take damage from falling. You even get a cutscene when you get the tenth note. But let's go into our pause menu and view totals. So on Mumbo's Mountain, we got everything. It only took us 14 minutes, so proud of that. So let's get out of here. And in case you forgot, we still have one thing to get. And the cool thing is, you don't really need to swim to get those notes. You can kind of just be an ant and jump down the water. Anyways, um, to get back to the hub world, you just gotta stand on your Banjo and Kazooie face podium. Crunchy's magic stops you taking notes off the world, but the hundred you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world, as they are needed to open the note doors. We will get 100 on each world, don't worry. But if we go up here, we will get the last jigs jiggy of this 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 world. Well, this this um, episode. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them. Mumbo magic get weak. Animal turn back to. When you open a world, when you open the world door, Betty's escape and roam once more. So as you can see, we had an ant outside. Magic all gone. Must go back to Baron Bird now. Yeah, as you can see, there was a um, termite outside the door. And this is a note door. All you have to do is have enough notes, go stand in front of it, and it will open. There's another shield my Grunty with one of our powerful magic spells. Open it up then, jam jars! It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. And this is the cutscene we would get if we collected all the jigsaw pieces in the world when we weren't an animal. But we go in here. That door was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. So as you can see, we have Treasure Trove Cove here. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button. Once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. So yeah, we can take pieces out. But let's just enter them in for now. As you can see, the bottom there says Treasure Trove Cove. And that's the second world of this game. Alright, so let's get over there. And as you can see, it says we have nine jigsaw pieces. Uh, we actually have um, more than nine. We have, what is it, 12? But they just don't count right now. But right now, I'm just going to go down here because we have this thing. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, that's really useful. But for right now, we're just going to want to get out of here. And we're going to head over to Treasure Trove Cove. And without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like on this video. It really helps support me and support this channel. Be sure to leave a comment down below with your criticisms, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. And as always, be sure to subscribe for more content. And then, as always, thanks for watching. Peace out.